My name is Lauren Life. Um, Lauren Provost was my maiden name. I've been a life for um, 32 years. <laughs> I'm a graduate of the class of 1979. Go 79. <laughs> um, in high school, I played field hockey, I played basketball, and I ran track. Sports was always a big thing in my family. I grew up with two brothers, one older and one younger, and um, when I would play basketball in the yard with them, I had to get my own rebound. You know, they weren't going to give me the ball. I had to work for it. Um, my dad um, was a huge sports fanatic, and he coached the boys all through Little League and all that kind of stuff, and it wasn't until I probably got to not middle school, I think it's, it was junior high, um, that I started playing sports. You know, I might have done some rec stuff, but it was really in junior high that uh, I kind of fell in love with the team sports. And um, I think I played softball even in junior high, but not, not in high school. And then in high school, um, we went to high school as sophomores. So I actually tried out for volleyball because I didn't really have a fall sport and I think I went to like two practices or, and it just wasn't my thing. And I landed in field hockey, thank goodness, because that was such a great, great experience in high school. But I wasn't even meant to be a field hockey player in the beginning. <laughs> so as a young child, I swam, but there probably wasn't a whole lot of opportunities to be involved in sports, in team sports especially. You know, and swimming is such an individual sport in so many ways, but really is ultimately the team sport, and that's what's so fun about it. Um, I kind of remember playing tennis like in a rec program over at Sage Park on the courts, which is really funny because now I'm a, a huge tennis player, and I play USTA, I play competitive tennis, I play on probably four different teams. I think I'm a senior this year, so I get to play on another team. But when I was a young girl, you know, there wasn't a lot available, but whatever was there, I certainly took advantage of it. Yes. The Windsor Cup is an award that was given to a varsity athlete who had at least seven varsity letters. So when I was in high school, it was only the three years, so you had nine seasons. So you had to, you had to varsity in something in your sophomore year, and that was track for me. And I played JV. Um, basketball and JV. I think I was on the JV team for field hockey my sophomore year. Well, first of all, I always remember starting with double sessions in the heat of August and um, never really looking forward to it and, you know, trying to be ready for it because there was so much running involved. Um, so even though, you know, it was a love-hate relationship with du double sessions. But anyways, Sarge got us out on the field early. Uh, I don't really know if we had that, you know, like, let's go for it kind of attitude, like we're gonna be state champs. I don't think it was like that. I think we just, you know, we did our thing and we worked hard and we had a lot of success and we just kept going and going and going. And um, I think up until my wedding day, probably winning the state championship was like the best day of my life. You know, I mean, it was a really cool thing, you know, especially because, you know, here we were from Windsor, Connecticut, going downstate to like Darien and Greenwich and, which could be intimidating back then, those big high schools in that fancy part of the state. Um, so that, that was a big deal. <laughs> Sarge was just, she was a big personality, you know? She, she, she got you to do the best you could possibly do. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of yelling or screaming, you know? She just had such a great way about her. And um, she really promoted the whole team team feel and um, I mean she certainly made us work hard no doubt about it but um, she will always be remembered with a lot of fondness. Athletics made a huge difference in my life it's still a very big part of my life um, I think it would be actually quite devastating not to have those opportunities for children um, I, s I have served on the Suffield Board of Education. Um, I'm a past member, but I served on that for six years. Um, I understand the value of public education, and you know, I have to say it was always interesting because that whole pay for play thing would come up, and I don't know if it's come up in Windsor or not. Um, but you know, kids are paying to play in rec sports, and you know, and travel sports, and all that, and then you get to high school and. And it's not that way anymore, which is which is fabulous. Um, so I can see why towns would kind of d d 
decide, you know, should we continue that trend and, and just have a pay to play kind of thing in high school. But again, I think just the fact that you do have public education and there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a tradition with public education that it's free and, it, and that's awesome. Um, and I think it would be just devastating for children not to have that opportunity. The, the whole team experience for me, I think has just formed my whole life. You know, I just love being a part of a team, whether you're, t you're talking about a tennis team in my 50s or, you know, working with people in the business world. You know, they talk nowadays um, about how children come out of school and so much of the working environment is all about collaboration. And where else do you collaborate better than on a team sport? So if that's really what the businesses are looking for nowadays, um, your athletes are really going to stand out, I think, to you when you're recruiting for jobs. So I um, was actually in Vail, Colorado at a Walmart shopping for food and whatever else. And um, I got a call from Sheila Martin, who was a year younger than me and an incredible athlete herself and, and um, good friend. We've kept in touch over the years, but I don't hear from her all that often. Um, so hoping it wasn't bad news, I answered the phone and um, quite honestly, I was just a little like taken aback. I was like, me? Me? I mean, um, really, Sheila? Um, so I, I got a little teary and I said, thank you. and hung up the phone and went to find my husband in another aisle and like said, you're not going to believe who just called me. <laughs> That's how I found out. I'm really touched. I'm really honored. Um, I'm not so sure I'm worthy, you know. Um, I was involved a few years ago when our state championship team was um, honored. And that was really quite a kick and quite a hoot and got together with Pretty much all of us went. Um, one of the girls, Cindy Giller, um, said, hey, who's got their state championship jacket still? I've got mine. Maybe we should wear them to the Hall of Fame. And sure enough, all the emails started coming and like everybody except one of us. And I think that was through a move or a divorce. Didn't have her jacket anymore. But um, we all were kidding about how the fact that it probably won't fit us, but maybe we should show up in our dresses, in our jackets. So. Um, so I went to that one, and then, of course, when Sarge was honored, um, at that time I was the principal of a, of a school, and we had a, an event that night, so I double-dipped and got there really quickly just to give her a big hug and congratulate her. Um, but I, I'm so impressed that there's a group that does this for Windsor High School, and I think it's um, an unbelievable tradition to honor people. Um, in the past, it was it was really great to go back to Windsor High and to go to a basketball game when they made the announcement. I have gone to Windsor High quite a few times over the course of the years. My daughters were swimmers, so we would go to Windsor to swim in different meets, and I'd always take them over to the to the um, I don't know what you call them the the racks where they have all these awards and trophies and things, and and um, they would get a big kick out of that. Um, so I, I think it's really awesome that a group of people dedicate themselves to, to do this.